if you look back here at that little part that it sticks out from the uh, station, that was where the clerk sat, and he could look up and down, see the trains coming from either direction. And this depot, for those of you who are not familiar with it, used to sit down on the siding, and it was a favorite hangout when I was a kid. A town, at that time, maybe 500 people. Young boys could be bored to death. So we looked for places to go and hang out, especially in the wintertime, and we'd come in the, in the nighttime and sit with a clerk. He was bored. <laughs> it had very little um, teletype traffic. And there was old pot belly stove in there, and we'd talk to him till maybe midnight. But I've spent God knows how many hours sitting in that little outcrop there. I guess between the time I was 10 and maybe 14 or 15, just sitting there, bored to death. So this, this station has a lot of meaning for me. And uh, several years ago, at that time I owned the station, the building, and I wanted to do something with it and talk to some community leaders. Uh, we can't afford to make it a museum. There's not enough money in this town. And when I got with Kathy to put it on the market, she convinced me that there was the amount of support. And this is, to me, one of the biggest success stories in Saluda. Um, it's all volunteer. They have had some help from the Polk County Foundation, I guess. But uh, it's just, it's, it never looked this good <laughs> when I was growing up. We were born at home, six of us, and I was the last child. I'll tell you this part of the story because it's in the book. I guess my mother was in her 30s by that time, and uh, she started having labor pains, but she also had a bunch of tomatoes because canning was a big source of our food in the wintertime. I was born in September. She decided she needed to can those tomatoes because she wouldn't be able to for a few days and the tomatoes might rot. So she canned 30 quarts of tomatoes and then laid down and had me. <laughs> the, at that time, they, the county doctor and the county nurse came to take care of deliveries. And the nurse asked for a name. She needed to sign me up. And my mother hadn't decided on a name, so the nurse said, well, I'll come back tomorrow. We'll get him signed up. Came back, still didn't have a name. And the nurse said, I can't can keep coming back. We need to get him registered. And there was some negotiation went on. And all I know is this nurse's last name was Clark. That's a heck of a way to get a name. 